We from look so north. disgusting right now. <laughs> <laughs> from the north, reaching out across uh, the world. Uh, you are watching the Kofi and Sam channel. This is Kofi. I am Sam. And if you are here, then you are welcome. Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so we are back here with Jedi Fallen Order. Um, <laughs> we very nearly... We're not here because we've both been out of town and we were traveling in today and we uh, both had exciting adventures on the way. But we're here and we're both... And there is nothing but chaos on the UK train. No one can... No one can stop... Cal Kestis. I mean, Cal Kestis, what am I talking about? BD1. <laughs> BD1, the true hero. <laughs> um, I just want to point out, before we go um, a, into a smaller version of ourselves, um, I am today drinking Iron oh, Brew. Oh, there we go. This is actually what it looks like. He promised. It's disgusting. It tastes like orange, but not the... Um, not the fruit orange or even chemical um chemical orange flavoring it just tastes like the color orange tastes like cal kestis's hair probably it tastes like we are so outfit. we look so disgusting right now um, i had forgotten just the horrors we inflicted on this character model last time uh, yeah, exactly like Blue Gatorade tastes blue. Um, exactly yeah, like that. But orange, no. you know, it does taste different to Blue Gatorade in the way that orange is different to blue. It's like Blue Gatorade <laughs> is after you've beaten a shrine in Breath of the Wild and Iron Brew is before. Or, you know, when you just uh, get get drafted into the wrong team when you play Rocket League. Tastes like that. Tastes like how that feels. Okay, I think we were saving up to throw lightsabers around the place. That is your um, only ranged option in this galaxy full of cool guns. Uh, throwing your primary weapon and hoping it comes back to you. Would you like to give a okay, quick Okay, so last time we climbed a massive tree. We met a dragon friend who we saved from, a, from an injury with the Force. Um... We're chasing clues for the holocron. I'm not sure why this is relevant, but it's so cool. And um, oh no. I believe this was all in order to talk more to. Oh, oh yeah, we met the Wookiee. Didn't you want to talk? Yes, and we said zero words to the Wookiee. That's true. We we had to talk to a human because cows racist or something. I feel like Cal just doesn't speak Wookiee, despite everyone else in the universe speaking Wookiee. Um, I really like the Ninth Sister's voice acting. It's real fun. And she's just so direct and to the point. I'm, uh, yeah, I stand for the Ninth Sister. Although she did just shoot her dragon friend, so we have to kill her. So now this is the game starting to even the odds because uh, whilst we found our double-sided lightsaber a little while ago, Ninth Sister, Ninth Sister's got we've got. We've got our regular fencing, dueling lightsaber, and then the double-ended. Except hers has got a trick to it as well. She is strong. Oh, she is. She's got a good. She's got a good guard, is the thing. You've got to wear down her guard. So, um, folks, the uh, the little grey and black um, meter above her is her guard. If you've played Sekiro, if you've seen anyone play Sekiro, it's a little bit like that. Um, the more you hit her, and the more you force her to guard, the more you wear it down. So, Sam used the force there. Either pushed her or slowed her down, I'm not sure which. Took out her guard scored a hit but now her guards back up so it's a little bit more tedious than Sekiro in Sekiro you've got to wear down the guard it might take the whole fight but when you've done it they're vulnerable to a death blow this you've still got to whittle at their health but crucially we bought the upgrade that uh, lets the stims that refill your health they also refill your force and that's very much needed I'd be scared of me too. 
<laughs> oh. Not bad for trash. That's bad. No. Is there a difference? Ha. Oh, oh sick burn. Burn. <laughs> burn. And here it comes. Double lightsaber time. So she gets a lot more aggressive oh. now. She is unhappy. I'm assuming um. this fire is decorated fire because it exists entirely on a two-dimensional plane. I don't know whether anyone caught that. <laughs> You gotta be really careful doing that overhead, uh, overhead sweep with a double-ended lightsaber because you are just gonna carve yourself open down the middle. Whoa! Oh! Ooh! Whoa. And that is death number 10, 20, 30, 35. And I've just realised there's a little when it says respawn because I thought that's a weird, that's a weirdly gamey bit of terminology for Star Wars, but. Guess what the name of the studio that develops this is? Is it Spawn? It's Spawnry, yeah. Spawnry. But I don't know, maybe all oh. their games tell you to respawn when you die. Maybe it's like a. Ooh! Oh man, I forgot style. about that one. Oh, the double jump. Yeah, the yeah. greatest Jedi power. Are you just going to be double jumping on the whole fight now? Oh. Huh. That worked. Almost Sam, do you ever um, meet these characters in this game and just wonder what they were like when they were Jedi Padawans? Like, if second sister was Seer's pupil, like, what was she like? What was ninth sister like when she was chill? Strong. I mean, maybe she wasn't chill as a Jedi, but that's certainly... Certainly what the films want you to think is that Jedi are chill and then suddenly they, uh... Like... They hulk out and turn was, to the dark was side. She was she ever actually a Jedi? Oh yeah, they were was... all they were all Padawans. It's like this is what you could have been if you just, you know, not given up on yourself and followed your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they were all trained as Jedi. That's why they're so mad. Cuz they've uh, they've bought the lie that the Jedi betrayed them. Especially second sister, but Seer did kind of betray her. Did did the Jedi not betray them? Let's um, be honest. Like, I bet some Jedi did betray each other because that's kind of what um, that's kind of what being persecuted and hunted probably does for some people, unfortunately. Uh, but like, no, the Jedi didn't like betray the Republic. The Republic betrayed the Jedi. But I don't know. I guess they did. I guess Samuel L. Jackson did technically try to kill the Emperor. It's okay, everyone. We'll get this. You know, maybe I'm just being stereotypical, but I feel like when you're when you're a massive lady with tusks, um, you might be shoehorned into a sort of corner. Oh, in terms of uh, in terms of um, good evil journalism. Yeah. yeah, maybe, but uh, like equally, I think you could be shoehorned into. Um, not fitting in with the good guys or the you know, the purported good guys and then turning to the purported bad guys. You know, I just think if there's something that's kind of seems to be defining um, the... Is that all you got? 
I don't know. Like, I'm sure there are many, many more Inquisitors and many, many more Inquisitor stories in Star Wars than I know about or care, care that much about. <laughs> but um, like, based on this game and based on the um, on the Kenobi TV series, which features different Inquisitors a lot, the thing that's really tying them together as as characters is they're all real angry, like all the time and at everyone. They're just. They're just cross cross people. Except the Night Sister's See, kind of having fun, right? She's enjoying this. Oh yeah. I think Why'd she only have one shoe? <laughs> huh. Oh, unless no, that's she's a got robot she's got foot. a robot foot. She's oh. got a robot foot. Good for her. Yeah. Cal doesn't have a robot foot. Not so cool now. Yan, you should definitely dye your hair green. Can you surrender? Is that a thing? That seems fake. Oh, oh, oh. So I know that that, um, that lightsaber throw you can parry. Even easier than I thought. Maybe not that time. I think... Um, I think probably the more sustainable, like... It's a learning curve, it's definitely going to be... But I think the more sustainable way is bringing down her block with the um her block gauge with with a parry because you're burning through the problem is you can get quite a lot off with um with the force but you burn through it quite quickly and it's also tied to your stims so the more force you use the less healing you've got Well, she made quick work of me. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just know it's not gonna. This isn't gonna be the one. Let's uh. <laughs> six Let's times the over. charm. Exactly. We're not quite on six. This I know. Is, this is five. <laughs> See the problem with them having the yellow glow is that until you hit them, you can't see when they glow red. So Sam got killed by an unblockable attack there, which, um, unless he's memorized the attacks, he doesn't know is actually unblockable. Nice. But yeah, like her, um, her block is way, way down from those uh, those parries you did. Yeah. Yeah. See, that was awesome. That's a bit mean. I told I think, you uh, six times the charm. I think like I think he stood a chance there. That that was pretty awesome. Like that was a clear parry. Yeah, awesome. just wants you to have fun. You know, if we're going to do this. 
The move where they force push you is really annoying. Like when so much about it is about managing your distance and your space, when they just like just go, nope. Ooh. Tekken's gonna love this. Oh, that's got range. Len is right. Oh, that's got rain. Force pushing only cool when I do it. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Yahoo! I... This isn't really relevant to this fight, but I have serious questions about... Um, and we've talked about this before, like, um, how in this game, as opposed to a Souls Ball game, do you justify resting at a bonfire and everything coming back? But um, I was having a think about this, and I was guessing, like, maybe every time you die never actually happens it's just Cal is meditating on what might happen and just thinking through how to do this next bit and so not it's die. just the Prince of Persia just, just yeah yeah like, oh, oh that didn't oh, happen I didn't no no I'm, I'm telling rightly. well no no it's kind of from the opposite side of things though because Prince of Persia is going like oh I didn't tell that bit of the story right no 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 but like I think Cal's going like oh well if I do that then I'll just get stabbed but if I do this you know and just meditating on the different ways this next fight could go. Wow, that and took that... like three times for BD to give me a stim. Oh yeah, BT, <laughs> BT's, BD's a little fucker. Like, <laughs> he knows just when it's important and just ignores you. But like, okay, but if that theory works, then why is the Ninth Sister just standing there waiting for you? Why don't we get the cool bit with the spaceship and the dragon? You know, it feels like she's killed. Oh, yes. Everyone loves a quick time event. Wait, that's the oh, wrong button. No, oh. I, I was. Choke slam. Sam. Um, <laughs> I, I may have been playing some PS3 lately, which means <laughs> I forgot where the X button is. Like, it's even worse going between. Um, going between the Switch controller. Sam's playing on a Switch controller, which is the best controller in both of our opinions, but even going between a Switch controller and a PlayStation controller is not as bad as going between Switch and Xbox, where they all have A, B, X, and Y, but they're all the wrong way around. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure if you parry her throw, she's lightsaberless for a few seconds. That does that hitbox is a bit janky, right? Yeah. She definitely did not hit you that time. What the? You gotta do your Mario jump. Oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But I mean, that will be an awesome force power to have. Just, you know, whenever you're on a crowded train, just, uh, just be able to, like, propel everyone away. Oh. 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 I really thought that was the time. But it's coming, folks. A reckoning's coming. Oh, 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 that message. Oh. 
it's just uh, just uh, passive aggressively going like, you know, you can change the difficulty, right? <laughs> you know, yes, we we got a difficulty toggle. You can uh, you can make the game easy if you like. We're and not. You know, game. You can <laughs> shout out. <laughs> This is all research. Is that all you got? I feel like because. I've been saying to Sam for a long time, oh, yeah, you've got to play this. I love this game. Um, and, you know, it's quite it's quite a you game, I think. But um, I oh, do feel I'm that, digging it. like, when we finish this playthrough, like, after we put you through this, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to do a hard game as well, you know. Um, I feel like uh, we need to make fair. you play through WarioWare. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll play through the original WarioWare. I love that game. Um, but that other WarioWare, although I had a lot of fun, was bullshit. <laughs> it just was. Do you know what you could do? Hmm. You could, because she does. She doesn't do the throw until you, she gets the double lightsaber, which means you've got to take what, like a third of her health off, a quarter. Yeah. Once she gets to the double lightsaber, because I feel like the thing that's killed you the most is the throw, because it's when you're trying to heal, right? Mm. So she controls the she controls the space because she can push you away and then throw it but if you keep a long way away from her you could probably bait it and practice parrying it hmm. which probably means you'll die to it a ton but um but once you've got it i doubt you're gonna lose it <laughs> You'll die like the rat little bit of um, I, I Mortal didn't, Kombat there. <laughs> I didn't move. Like, you were like, get over here. We're not done. Like, I... <laughs> yeah, like, the AI, uh, the AI scripting is just as good as the Stormtroopers. Nice. Yeah, that's that's the lightsaber move we're saving up for. We could go back and grind and see if we get our own lightsaber move and just uh, give as good as we get. There we go. Now that's what I call X appeal. Ooh. Why did she swing at you? She was like 20 meters away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like the um the lightsaber on a uh Oh yeah! Oh that took a ton of health off as well. Not happening. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Her lightsaber is sick. 
Like the double blades that spin in your hands just. And remember those fidget spinners that were like the cool thing a few <laughs> years ago? Like it's like one of those except it kills people. Um it does seem somewhat impractical. I mean it's a lightsaber. It's it's impractical. Oh Nice escape as well. <laughs> Jan's just saying that they're uh, happy they get to look at uh, their wife, the ninth sister, for so long. Ah! Oh! It's fine. It's coming soon, people. Oh. It's coming soon. <laughs> oh, to right. have a killy fidget spinner, <laughs> says Len. <laughs> Here's the thing. No one's ever going to take it away from you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, good point. Um, a butterfly knife is definitely a killy fidget spinner. <laughs> Don't know about the rest of the world. Very illegal in the UK. <laughs> like, yeah. super illegal in the UK. Oh, do you mind, love? I mean, here's the thing. Um, fidget spinners, they've got to have some weight and momentum on them. So if you just throw a fidget spinner hard enough and hit someone right in the head, I'm not advocating you kill someone with a fidget spinner, by the way. <laughs> Nobody clip that and take it out of context. Um, you heard it hurt it. <laughs> you heard it here first. Kofi advocates for throwing fidget spinners wildly off the Eiffel Tower. I'm also, like, for the record, I'm not recommending people buy butterfly knives. Like, <laughs> I get it, they're very cool, but they're, like, they're dangerous to the person who has them as much as anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, that is true of any knife carried for self-defense. Ah! Yeah, but but a knife, a knife that like is almost perfect for just fidgeting with like a fidget spinner. Like how many times? I can only talk for me, but like for someone who plays music, I'm ridiculously clumsy. Um, as anyone who's ever seen footage of the mechanisms in concert will know. Um, but I would drop a butterfly knife. And have it land blade side down in my thigh within the first five minutes of owning one. You know? <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah. Sam's really getting this one down, actually. White got that parry time. Yeah, you, you, you get the first two in the combo. It's difficult. Like, the first one's always okay because you do it as the lightsaber starts to move towards you, but once it's sort of doing the twisty turny. Yes, but Jan, that does um, mean you're a lot more likely to drop the piano on yourself. <laughs> How do you think you play a piano, Sam? <laughs> do you lie underneath it and lift? Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> you know, if you've got um, if you've got really bad hand-eye hand coordination. Um, the kazoo's a great instrument. Oh, 
thought you were about to pull one out. <laughs> Sorry, what? I thought you were about to pull a kazoo out. I mean, I think I own a kazoo. I don't have it to hand. And, you know, if you find one, we might need to have a round of swanny kazoo. <laughs> um, tell you what, when you get to the final boss, I will be extremely unhelpful by playing Duel of the Fates on a kazoo. Yeah. Don't play it too well, otherwise um, we'll get copyright striked. <laughs> no, no, the, uh, the algorithms aren't clever. Like, singing's... The algorithms aren't clever enough to, like, listen for a tune using completely different frequencies and time. We're fine. Probably. You see, in Sekiro, I should be dead. And that's what's really unfair. So that was a block, which... Um, so it didn't go back and hurt her. It, it didn't cut her as she tried to catch it, but uh, we didn't get hurt. So even if Sam's completely unprepared for it, he can just block, and as long as he's got block in his gauge, he'll be fine. Um, I think you're overestimating my ability um, to remember that I have a block button, but okay. I mean, for me, this is the fight that sort of... This is the fight that sort of makes or breaks the game. For quite a lot of people, actually. Like, this this is the bit where once, you, once you've understood that, you kind of understand how to play the game. Which is weird, because we're, we're, I think we're in the solidly final quarter of the game, but... Um, we've got a lot of Dathomirians to kill. Yeah, we've got to hang out in Dathomir a bit more. Ah. Oh, no! Oh. The stun lock! It is, it's that, uh... It's that lightsaber throw, it's what it does to you, is, uh... Uh, it's all right, Len. Um, I know all about how to look after a violin. Um, I, I believe I sent you a video uh, not not too long about uh, ago yes, it about was really how distressing to, about how to care for your violin. Oh, so. it submerge it in a tank of water. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But like, if you're worried about just breaking it with regular use, like they're Don't abuse it, but like they're more durable than they look. Like maybe not a lot more durable, but they're not. You know, they're not made of paper. Oh no! Um, then what did I spend all that money on? <laughs> <laughs> paper violin. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh, like, God. I, would, I would probably pay for a nice origami <laughs> violin, or at least instructions on how to make my own. I, I think I'd. Uh... Yeah, I know. I I worry about my violin as well, Len. Um, I was about to say, like, I'm a complete hypocrite. The reason why, um, the reason why I moved to an electric violin um, with the mechanisms was. Um, A lot of the, uh, a lot of what we wrote, um, particularly later on, um, from high noon onwards, goes quite hard. And there was one time I actually, um, there's a particularly screechy bit in the back half of High Noon Over Camelot. Um, it's called the Hermit, and it's, there's a lot of just, just making horrible noises on the violin because horrible things are happening within the story. Um, and I snapped the bridge of my violin, which is not an important part, you know. You, you, it's, it's no, no, no. It's, it's, ju it's just a bit That's of, not an important part of the violin. No, it's it's fine. It's just a bit. It's just a bit of wood. It's not glued on or anything. It's just um, it's just annoying because you have to take everything off and put it back on. It's not an easy fix. Um, but it snaps in half. Oh, um, oh, Belmo's still alive on stage. Um, and that was, uh, 
That was real bad, but um, let's just say that uh, the Once and Future King lost a violin solo, but it gained a cool mandolin solo that night. Um, but yeah, I sort of said, do you know what? If I'm going to play this stuff on stage, I'm going to get... Because uh, cause my violin's my grandmother's violin. It's, it's important to me, you know? Um, but yeah, carbon fiber violin. It's made of the same stuff that Batman's arm is made of. I could probably smash it on the ground and it would be fine. And someone's Not saying gonna, that though. they lost their violin bridge for six months, and I am wondering, did you look inside the violin? <laughs> I have to. Talk. You know, sometimes, sometimes when when guitarists lose a plectrum, it it falls That's inside true. the sound hole. Maybe the bridge just fell inside I'm, the I'm violin. I'm gonna say you'd have to. I'm not saying it's not possible. <laughs> I'm saying you'd have to behind your dresser. <laughs> I'm saying it'd be quite hard to get a violin bridge inside a violin because <laughs> the sound holes are very twisty turny <laughs> and the bridge is quite long and thin compared to the shape of the sound holes. Okay, so um, from what from what I picked up, you know, violin bridges are, are fairly cheap and violins are quite expensive so why don't they just make violins out of the stuff they make violin bridges out of because violin bridges are basically made out of slightly better cork like they are <laughs> um so how are you reckoning uh, a cork violin would sound <laughs> <laughs> like shit <laughs> and fortunately not for very long <laughs> but you would have a difficult time submerging it in water that's true it would float <laughs> and then right I'm just saying um, you, you'd have a violin that you could play while you're swimming <laughs> I mean, you may have hit on a genius business idea, but <laughs> I think you, I think there's, you might have some competition. You can get some, um, I mean, look, um, instrumentalists are real snobs about, they're like, oh, good instruments have to be really expensive. They have to be made by a particular, like, Guitarists and violinists are the worst for this, particularly electric guitarists. Um, but, like, here's the thing. If you want to buy a... I can't really speak for guitars because um, I play guitar. I'm not super knowledgeable. But if you want to buy a... Uh, if you want to buy a beginner's violin, um, you can get an instrument that sounds nice. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, you still have to save up for it, but it's it's not it's not crazy expensive, um, and the quality is uh, it's a lot better than the snobs that have you believe. Like it's it's really things have changed in the last few years. Um, like the quality of the builds is just great. Yep, second-hand instruments, that's the way to go. My, uh... You know what? I think nearly, uh... I think nearly all of my instruments are second-hand. Um... Apart from my bass guitar and my viola, I think everything I've got is second-hand. Len's got Len's got a uh, cool violin from the 1920s. I don't know why uh, you said uh, from the 1920s. I um, was just thinking of Chicago, and um, so I was just thinking that it was like secretly a flask. 
Oh, well, like a secret compartment in a the violin. A secret gin flask, you know. It's oh. a violin, but it's a secret gin yeah, flask. Yeah, I mean, like, probably. That's probably people found ways of hiding yeah, yeah. drinks in violins oh, during yeah, yeah. Prohibition. That makes sense. People will go to crazy lengths to make sure they can have a drink. But yeah, like, if anyone's thinking of buying an instrument, like, it's always worth ah. going to, uh... It's always worth going to eBay or, you know, or even better, someone who collects and sells second-hand instruments. Like, we've got a few of those in Edinburgh. Um, but it's always worth looking there first because you might find something that um, is really, really good and actually better than you'd get otherwise. I like the I eat turf sticker on um on a guitar. Um I appreciate the sentiment, but I also bet they taste really bitter. Yeah. You know? Um Uh you know the <laughs> uh Woody Guthrie at um, this machine eats fa hey, kills fascists. <laughs> I, uh written on his guitar um, nice uh, I, I was just reminded of a post uh, which was um, carved into an AK-47 uh, this machine kills folks musicians <laughs> <laughs> but what if the folk musicians just refuse to die I mean uh, that's kind of the history of folk music. <laughs> <laughs> that's unfair. You can't she is parry someone who's behind good at you. Blocking she's behind. very good. She does forget that she needs to block once she's just jumped, though. Look, sometimes a big jump just takes it out of you. Like, oh, uh, this this fight is hardcore, you know. PD, stim here. Oh, ah. oh, that animation takes longer than you think, doesn't it? It's very Wee. tough to know when it's safe to heal. Oh, I bet that hurts. What? What hurts? Um, you didn't hit him. I I think she's just generally talking about my pride. Um, I mean that's true. Does your pride hurt? Um, no, not very much. Lightsaber throw. It's just the worst, people. Just the worst. Trying to think, I don't have many instruments, but um, I do have a very awful to play by uh, mandolin. <laughs> I 
I think you've seen it. Yeah, I, I had a go on it um, when you first got it. It's uh... awful. <laughs> yeah, it's it's um, it's not great. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Jess has made fun of me um, in the past for uh, saying the action on her mandolin is a little bit high. Um, but it's not, by the way. It's just I, my, I'm um, worse. But this, this, this action is like fully half a centimeter away. And mandolin strings are super thin. It's, <laughs> it's uh, genuinely like Very trying painful. to uh, trying to push your finger pads through garrote wire. Just horrifying to play. Probably sounds lovely, but um, you'd have to be a robot to play it for any length of time. Um, no, you could be Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Do we really think or Anakin Luke Skywalker, Skywalker has, uh, has or musical ability? Man, there's a lot of people get their hands cut off. That said, Anakin Skywalker is definitely the uh, the guy who brings a guitar to a frat party and is like, anyway, here's Wonderwall. He is. Here's a song about how I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. And I wrote a song about it. Orpheus has a concertina. I'm, I'm kind of jealous. Love that for you. Absolutely. Are we fighting or what? <laughs> You're like, you call that a push? This is a push. me every time <laughs> anyway his hot cross buns <laughs> <laughs> me on any instrument to be honest <laughs> I think you've got to get that. Um, I think you've got to get that lightsaber, at least the block down. Yeah. Because it's always followed up with the uh, the lunging yeah, jump, no. and that kills you if the throw doesn't. Like the two combined, it's definitely enough to take out a whole health bar. Oh. Ah. And like. You definitely can dodge it, but you've got to dodge backwards and you don't always have room. Yeah. Just need some practice. It's fine. I'm doing a terrible job at recording <laughs> these as well. Um, we are on 48. And by the way, just have a slight feeling we're not we're, we're not making it before 50. By the way, I don't know whether anyone here is familiar with the uh, Star Wars bad lip reading but <laughs> in the classic Star Wars bad lip reading song the bushes of love it was 49 times they fought that beast I know I've definitely seen it because I remember laughing at Yoda saying something, but I do not for the <laughs> life of me remember what it was. <laughs> it's 49 times we fought that beast. Wait, is the Latero Grease? You are not touching Grease. Um, I, I feel like Grease would make light work of you, to be honest. 
<laughs> Why isn't Gre Grease just have four lightsabers? I think Grease needs to pull his finger out, frankly. I need a step, BD. Oh, uh -huh. no. He did get the heal, though. Oh, nice. Go greedy. Go greedy. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem, it's knowing when to uh Yeah, that's right, Len. It's it's true. Like this is this is this is just the genre. You know, sometimes you get to a boss and it just flows. That you. boss becomes your whole day. <laughs> Maybe even longer. Um I you know what? I've not come back to it in a while, um, but my playthrough of Sekiro, I I think I spent weeks, like not solid weeks of playing it every time I had the chance, but like weeks of I'd switch it on, I'd play, um, I'd play 30 minutes, I'd switch it off in disgust and come back to it the next day. Um, there's a guy called um, Genichiro, and... He's like a samurai lord. He's really cool. Um, but... He was just so really? tough because, to bring um, down. It sounds like this story is going to um, end with... Actually, no, he's a dick. <laughs> oh, well, here's the thing. The fight is really fun. The fight is really fun, and you can get his moves. And, yeah, like... Um, getting the timings hard, blocking them's hard, making sure you're getting your damage in, because... You can damage his block meter, but it recovers really quickly, but less quickly if he's injured. So, like, balancing all those things, and you feel like a great swords... You know, like, that game genuinely does make you feel like the most awesome swordsman in the world when you start learning these things and you overcome those sort of difficulties. But here's the thing. You wear down his health meter... And then you wear down his second health meter because sometimes Sekiro does that. And then um, you've kind of probably by that point reached the end of the healing that you've got, your flasks or whatever. And then he's just fine and you have to fight him again, except he also has lightning powers now. <laughs> um... And I think I got to the lightning powers phase like the second or third time I, I fought him. But <laughs> it took me weeks to get past that bullshit third phase. But here's the thing, Sam's better at this type of game than me. So we're going to be fine. That is true. Callis, no you and McGregor. Oh! Right, we doing That's this. The one. That's the one. Oh, you got you got to run for that. I've never seen her throw when you're right next to her. <sighs> Lawrence. Is Lawrence like the first... No, it's Father Gascoigne's the first like compulsory boss. I'm trying to remember Lawrence. Lawrence Fishburne? Um, is he in Bloodborne? Uh... Uh, just a quick reminder, we're not allowed to say his name on stream. Um, Lawrence Fishburne. Wait, wrong person. I think Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne's fine. We can still be friends with Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> You're not winning this. But I don't know, I, I think a sort of squamous um, Lawrence Fishburne... Uh, Possessed and mutated by some eldritch power would make a great 
Bloodborne boss, right? Fun fact: oh, Lawrence Fishburne okay. was in Mash. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I didn't do the DLC. I think the uh, the main campaign was more than enough for me. Not in that I didn't love it. In that I was just like, I've, I need to. Just I've stop had playing enough this. for now. I need a bit of a break. Yeah, I need to play. I need to play. Uh, to it. Yeah, it's just it's. It's heavy, you know, not just in terms of what it demands from you, but um, it's just like the atmosphere is so oppressive. Like it's it's really cool, but sometimes you need a nice, colourful game where the characters go wah, woohoo, yahoo. <laughs> Fortunately, in this game, you can have it all because yes, it is heavy and oppressive and super hard but also you can do somersault jumps and dress yourself up in stupid fucking colors <laughs> You're not winning this. I can wait. there we go it's coming yes You know what always confuses me about these? Like, it makes sense when they've got single-bladed lightsabers, but when they're doing that sort of grindy, oh, I'm pushing, you're pushing, who's going to be the best at pushing? Like, why doesn't one of them just strafe to the side and cut the other open with the other lightsaber on the other side of the handle, you know? Why does... Ninth sister, the largest sister, not simply eat Cal. <laughs> <laughs> because she has to kill him, butcher him, and cook him first. She can't just chomp on him. Oh, that's great news. Yeah. <laughs> Good job on oh. finding a group and managing to schedule a session because that's the hard part. Yeah, absolutely. You wouldn't, like, think, night... you wouldn't think so, but that's the hard part of D and D. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Genuinely, that that's awesome. Um, enjoy it. Enjoy it. You're gonna love it. Speaking of which, we should really play some D and D, Sam. Like, I should make good on the threats. Are we fighting or what? Help me, BD. Don't worry. We're nearly done here. Oof. Throw stiffs. What? I'm calling bullshit on that one. Add some shenanigans. Oh. oh, wow. Intercontinental D&D is... Uh, that's got to be even harder to that's schedule. That's a commitment. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... That's brave. Did you interrupt a red attack? Yeah. That was awesome. I mean, I'm not sure it will ever happen again, but... <laughs> That one just... Pathetic. Help, BD. Ah. Oh. I think you've got to really be sure when you take the, yeah. uh, take the stim. But it's so hard. The only time I can think of that's definitely safe is when she's just finished this move. But even then, oh. you've got to be away from her. Himbo barbarians are fun. 
but I raise you the himbo barbarian. <laughs> the barbarian who hears someone play a, play a lute in a tavern and goes, yeah, I could do that. Um, I quite like a, um, just a moron wizard. Like oh, yeah. a wizard who has an intelligence modifier of like minus two. Like, but is enthusiastic. Yeah. I mean, I think you've got to really know. Uh, to be fair, like, you've got to know your stuff to play Wizard well anyway. Oh, yeah. Like, the trade off for versatility is just a fuck ton of admin, which, like, for me, that, that wouldn't be fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think if you're playing a low yeah. intelligence wizard, you've got to really know your stuff. Um. And have a very forgiving DM as well. <laughs> I always quite liked uh, playing a rogue. Rogues are fun. <laughs> are we or Awful, what? but fun. I think, so the thing about rogues is, <sighs> I feel like rogues can go two different ways, and it's uh, it's not anything to do with the mechanics, it's, it's down to how you want to roleplay them, because... Like the Come um, on. the the kind of dour I don't make friends I'm a lone wolf style of yeah, rogue, which no, is something that no. like like do you know what like that character is fun in um, it's fun in media it's fun in on TV it's fun in books it's fun in films it's not fun when you're playing with a group I don't think mm. because you just sort of become your character is. It's not so much that your character isn't a people person, but like your character is antisocial, and that it's easy unless you're really, really good at role playing to make that kind of make you become antisocial. So like that's that's the danger with rogues is you've got to you got you got to stay away. You got to stay away from the edge a little bit. You know. Don't cut yourself on the edge oh. and rogues will be fun. Speaking of not cutting ourselves on the edge, <laughs> um, Ninth Sister's really cutting it fine and is apparently just waving her lightsaber. This is this is a new phase we haven't had before, right? Yeah. I think so. I forgot there was a train. I liked the train. That was way back in episode one. The Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carter, you did not. Carter has just gone, the ninth sister likes us and she's a fan because her lightsabers are... You know what? I'm not sure. I, I'm sure heated plasma probably could move a lot of air, but I don't think it'd cool I you down. I think that would be a heater. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? You can probably heal up while she's doing uh, her fan thing, though. Next time she does it. Oh, oh that's a shame. Oh, no, you got it. Ah! Like <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, the way all lightsaber duels end. Hey, we did it. Nice one. You, oh, she. You always have to have a, a good mum friend. Uh oh. When <laughs> when playing D and D, and it's a fun role to play. I gotta say. Yeah, she was definitely a Jedi. Yeah, she does relish this a bit much to not be a Jedi. Yeah. Ow. 
Whoa. Bye bye. How come we can push her to her death before? Ahoy hoy. Friends. Thanks for joining us. This is our friend. Okay. They luckily survived the attack from the ninth sister. May I remind you, chat, who is insistent that um that the um <laughs> that the ninth sister is our friend that she did try to murder our best friend the the giant more than once oh it warps us right the way back here so i guess we just gotta gotta go home and go see greece see if he'll give us another lift to dathomir do Love we have the xp to throw the lightsaber whirlwind throw Oh, that's that's a little bit different, but that's that's kind of cool. Pretty good, pretty good. Just gotta make sure that we uh, we know which lightsaber we have, because if you try to do that with a regular one, it's it's. Uh... Let's get... Oh, I forgot that we could it. do that. Um... Oh, that, that would have been would, useful, wouldn't it, to close the distance? That would have been phenomenally yeah. useful. <laughs> uh, well. Whoa. Oh. oh. Do you know what? I'm pretty sure that's copied from Mario Odyssey. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you climb a wall. This is how you climb a wall. <laughs> Did Star Wars just turn into Farscape? <laughs> <laughs> Jury's out. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was uh, close. Game hadn't quite worked out what you were doing there, had it? Uh, oh, remember there quite. are rocket launchers up here. There were rocket launchers. Oh no, there's still one more. There's still that guy. Um, right, so I've forgotten what what new skills we get. Oh, there was somewhere down here we hadn't explored. But we can go back there if you like. Um, we got we got fifty minutes left. Like once we go back down there, we won't have a reason to come back here. Like yeah, this is no, the last time I we're think, leaving this place. So if I you want to find gotta it, go back down. We're we're going for a hundred percent here, folks. <laughs> like we've, we've really never said not. we've never said that, but like I think we pretty much are now because um, we've definitely not doing all collectibles. So. Well, we have found everywhere on Zepho. I think we've completely done Zepho. I think we've completely done. Uh, we've definitely done Bogano. Uh, no, there's still one place I want to go back to in Bogano because there was. Have some you found out stuff. some more bullshit that's in no, Bogano? No, 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 no. There was there was some place underwater, and I don't know for certain that there's anything down there, but I need to see. <laughs> okay. That's now that so now that we can go it. underwater, I I want to go back to Bogano, the Bog Planet. Um. So it was just. You see, long here like Sam left. will say, "Oh, we're not going for a hundred percent," and then like he'll say shit like that. <laughs> the next sentence. That double jump's a game changer, isn't it? Oh yeah. Although apparently not if you're trying to get up there. <laughs> uh, it's where we. Oh, okay. Try and fall, okay. Wasn't yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a plant. But you know what? Yes! yes! We're building the garden. Grease's garden's going to look beautiful. Um, His little indoor For those garden, of you who, like... who don't remember, it's it's been a while since it came up. I'm not going to lie. We are going for being a space gardener. Um, uh, well, we're, we're helping Grease be a space gardener. Um, Grease is the best character. Grease, is, Grease and BD1 are the true heroes of this game. Um, Grease is the uh, is the little guy with mutton chops and forearms who flies the spaceship and pretends very much to hate us, even though he kind of loves us. But he did 
he did sell us to Murdy that one time. Um, yes, but I think he was entirely justified because he is Grease. <laughs> <laughs> He's justified in anything he does. Wait, I'm... Um... Grease is the word. How do I get back? Oh, no. Oh, fuck no. It's, it, no, it's not that way. Um, no, no, you go... Turn, turn, turn around. I like, go behind you. I know the way, basically. Okay, turn around. Follow it around to the left. And if you hop over those pads, that's where oh, yeah. you see the Stormtrooper. Yeah. yeah. Damn it! Oh, so close. I mean, the first time we came through last last week, it just happened organically, and that was... Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, like, organically versus definitely scripted, but... <laughs> I forgot to do the thing. I forget that uh, PCs are things that uh, you can overclock at will. <laughs> Not really a PC gamer. Never been able to uh, keep up with that. Like, the games I have in my Steam are like the first Half-Life. <laughs> <laughs> the or, orange um, box never winter nights <laughs> i do actually have the orange box it does not come everyone out as, does well yeah of course but it doesn't come out as often as the first half-life no like i think now that the dust has well and truly settled on um the whole half-life 2 series i kind of think half-life 1's the better game um I never got it to work very well, um, just from having two modern computers for it to work properly. And oh, uh, oh, oh no, no, you're fine. You're fine. You can you can get back up, right? You got your yeah, yeah. <laughs> You got this. Quick before you murder of the living rock. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's alright. I didn't die because... You're weak. Yeah, that's just fucking rude. I got a little shooting. Oh, okay. Chat, you really got to stop killing children. Like, <laughs> I know we're talking about Jedi here, but... Um. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God, the, uh, the AI lines of the Purge Trooper, like, he runs past the Purge Trooper and he's like, I will face you again. Okay, lifts here. Bye, okay. Purge Trooper. Goodbye forever. In here, BD. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything we need to come back to this planet for, so um, I think there's we one might be right. door for some reason, but I guess that's been blocked by story, not by uh, not by unlockables. I think that's just something that it's needed to be one way, because this part was a whole set piece, wasn't it? possible i could get to it from here but like yeah don't i don't <laughs> i don't think it's let's go see Greece. too much of a concern let's get let's get on the uh two-way two-way lift to the grease express okay, okay. uh Ha ha ha! 
proper pinch of Prince of Persia there. Oh, that's just that's just great stuff. Um. Yeah, no, I remember this bit. You had to do some uh, some wonky climbing. Yeah, you came through that door. Oh, that's what they want you to do. Okay. No, I can... Yeah. Well, I think that worked out pretty well. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. This bit, this bit was annoying. Okay. Oh no! Screw you! Gets away. Do do the throwy thing. Oh yeah. Just stand in the middle and do the thing. There's um. so many of them. What? Oh, that's well. Weak. That was pathetic. Oh well. <laughs> Up here. There's always the alternative tactic of running away. Brave, brave Sakal bravely ran away. Oh, oh no, I the lift's all here. the way over there. Oh. God damn it. Can we just walk back? I bet we can walk back. Yeah, we're not that. We're like halfway there already. Yeah, we can walk back. I'm not sure how backtrackable this well, path it's, it's is. It's not if you just fling yourself mindlessly into the abyss. Um, sometimes that's just how cow feels. Well, wouldn't you if you were cow? I mean, obviously. <laughs> huh. A dead guy. Oh, wait, we're going to send something from the dead guy. Forrest Whitaker killed that guy? The monster. Yeah, this is backtrackable. Yes, I think it might not have been before I got the pool. Ah. Is is maybe what I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, we're basically there. Also, like... I probably shouldn't be reading too much into it, but he sees the dead trooper and he's like, oh, Saw got him. He's more ruthless than I thought. Like, how many people have you killed <laughs> today, Cal? Like, just today. Maybe just in the last hour. Those rocket launcher people weren't even looking at you. Oh, I forgot we painted it yellow. <laughs> the inside <laughs> is yellow is as yellow. well. Um if you if you missed it last week, uh, we painted everything yellow because we were being the health and safety brigade. <laughs> Even our lightsaber is kind of yellow. I feel like I made blue mashed potato. It was annoying me because I looked evil. Like, why are you sitting down for a meal? There are stormtroopers right outside. Um. Well, sometimes Past you the space just got to stop to eat. Oh, wow. He likes so much salt on his Cal potatoes. By the Empire. I resisted. Oh, Grease is I loving this. Grease, Grease loves the drama. <laughs> Look at his whiskers blow gently in the breeze. Majestic. <laughs> Look at that greasy little expression. Yeah, it's a little smirk oh, whilst Cal's looking like awkward. And I know there's nothing I can do to make that right. But Cal, there's still a chance we can save the others on the Holocron. Hey, look. The Ninth Sister said something about becoming an Inquisitor like like it's inevitable. But you went through the same thing she did and you didn't join them. Cal. It's okay, Steve. We'll find Cordova's Holocron. Get your 
lasers off my lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Don't know in what con context. Uh, just when people are firing lasers at your lunch. Well, I it happens surprisingly often. You can say it when you interrupt the microwave, you know? When, like, it's clearly done, it's bubbling, you know, you gotta got to take it out or it's going to start get your lasers off my lunch. Uh, not really lasers, but yes. I mean, it's it's electromagnetic spectrum. Oh, I don't what's know what Grease a laser is. Say, um, that's, that's not a bathroom. <laughs> you, well, I, maybe we found out something about Grease we didn't know before. <laughs> Grease confirmed for wearing adult diapers. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I'm so excited. These plants are so cool. Are we going to uh, change the lightsaber? I don't think we've got any new lightsaber yeah, no, um, I don't materials, think have we? We've like, got anything that's exciting enough to. We did briefly Justify make the lightsaber it. orange as well, but for some reason that was the um, that was a bit too far for Sam. I'm, I'm just all saying for it. it looked evil. Lightsaber. It looked evil. I mean, <laughs> so does Cal. Right now, it doesn't look like it. That doesn't mean you didn't save lives. War changes all the time. Uh, I'm still. It, it never changes. Sort of Have you never played Fallout, sir? Maybe. Um. Have you never played Metal Gear Solid 4? War has changed. War never changes. Yeah, Ron Perlman and uh, and David Hayter should fight. I feel like they'd just get on too well to fight. <laughs> well, it could be like... It could be like wrestling where, you know, they're, they're just pretending to fight and they're actually buddies. We need to do more. We're trying. I think David Hayter would have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> Although the best wrestling match I ever saw um, was one I attended uh, attended in person. It was Cara Noir, who uh, dresses as a swan. Like, that sounds stupid, but it's extremely beautiful. Cara Noir versus uh, Ilya Dragunov. And um, it was very violent and very very gay and they kissed each other right on the mouth a whole lot but there's a door right here yeah that's Dathomir isn't it uh, no this is uh, Zepho oh. do we have to go to Zepho um, I don't think so let's go to Dathomir um we can, we I've, can I've got a Zephyr quick Zephyr. errand to do on Bogano, the bog planet. <laughs> we're never getting away from Bogano. Of course we're not. I love this is, Bogano. This is me like... The bog here's, planet. Here's me on Twitter earlier on in the day, like, going like, we're definitely going to Dathomir this time, guys. <laughs> and, like, it sounds like, no, we've got to go back to Bogano. Exactly. Wrestling's so gay. That's what makes it so good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where's that stowaway? <gasps> They're talking about him. Yeah. Though. Yeah. He's been eating our stuff. Maybe he's just chomping at the plants. He's in the vent. He's in the vent. He's in the vent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to your right, to your right. He's in there. Above you. Ah, oh, there we are. Hello! And he's gone again. Little stowaway friend. There's our Sprabbit. Uh, yeah, sprabbit. also last time we adopted a Sprabbit. <laughs> Okay, Bogano, so the bog what, what, what are we here for? You. What are we here for? Okay, because this, so this, down, this has got to be good, right? So down in the abandoned workshop, um, we 
there was... Ooh, there's a whole bunch of new routes because of the double jump. That's exciting. Um, okay, I guess we did 100% Pagano. <laughs> uh, down in the abandoned workshop, which I think is this bit uh-huh. over here, um, there is some water down at the bottom that we were swimming in, but there's definitely stuff uh, down at the bottom of it that... Um, but let's go for it. You need to swim underwater to be able to see, and I am a hundred percent sure there's going to be something good there because every time we found something on Bagano, it's been great. By the way, are you perfectly camouflaged for this planet now? Um, not quite perfectly. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good unless you're climbing the cliffs. So are some of these routes just you can jump off this cliff and land on a platform? Because, oh no, you can get to, you could get up there. You can do that before. And you can fight a lizard. Like, I know it's squiggly and disgusting, but it's also kind of cute. You know, like a like a bug Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Yeah, this is this is new. This is cool. Yes, yeah, it's, it's this is a great Sonic the Hedgehog level. <laughs> 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 you you're kind of not wrong. <laughs> Oh, it is probably going to be better than Solid Frontiers. Just that <laughs> 20 seconds ago. Not very <laughs> hard. <laughs> What's that, Dee? Neuradium. Does it look like the color of your brain? Is it metal that can think? Is it called Neuradium because it's like a some kind of dietary supplement that helps your cognitive process? I must know. It makes you think so much harder. Um, Ooh, it's a baby Zepho, right? It's a statue. But... A statue, a place for the view of the vault. I sense this site was chosen with great purpose. But what purpose? Now, if it was a great purpose, what makes it great and not have average? have we been there before? Um, no, that's that's where you fall if you fail the Sonic the Hedgehog level. Okay. And then you get another try, because... Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... There's uh, there's some yellow further down, and then there's that water that you want to go swim in. I love to go swimming in water. Well, it's better than asses. I mean, you're not wrong. Um... Yeah! Be a nice We're doing I so mean, forget, well forget, uh, forget stopping the dark side from um, capturing, brainwashing, and possibly killing all these uh, all these um, Jedi foundlings. It's, uh, it's finding the plants that uh, that really makes this game. It's it's an important thing to do once you once you find all the plants you unlock the secret final boss um omega grease he's like grease but with six arms making a new friend three for the lasers and three for the chainsaws okay then right what i didn't notice before because we have been up here before is that we can get into the back way. Yeah, but we've already explored that, right? Um, no, we didn't get everything oh, in there. Oh, was that... Did we, did we get that... Uh, oh, well... Mm. I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how you would... Oh, Carter's made up. Carter's made a pretty decent pitch. If we found all the plants, killed all the plants, and unlocked the true final boss, the Lorax... Oh... Perfect. I, I, this, this can't be right. This cannot be right. That's something. 
Yeah, but I don't think you're meant to get in that way. I really don't. That's that 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 can't be it. Let's let's go in the front way. We'll figure it out, okay? Because we'll we know what's possible now. So it's that chest that you haven't got, right? Um, so you oh want to yeah. get that. You want to get that window. <gasps> ah! But wait, look! Look at the ceiling! Look at the ceiling! That's one of those balls that we spent an hour trying to move into a <laughs> slot. That's true. It's one of those Zepho balls. No, you, you've got to get in behind that, right? I think so. Yeah. Right. So. Or can you the can you turn the can you turn the fans in the floor on, and will they make you fly? Uh, no, no, okay. they won't. Oh. They just kill you. Um, <laughs> As is so often the case, things that you think will make you fly just kill you. Um, From, jumping uh, off of buildings drugs that often to kills Leonardo you. da Vinci's flying machines. <laughs> right, I just want to give this one more shot. Just make sure I'm not being... Uh, okay. Ah! No, you no, see... Um, if I would jump, it's physically impossible for him to grab onto that ledge. <laughs> if just if an Cal would just ledge. grab, then <laughs> probably <laughs> this but. ledge. That's easy to grab, but like that ledge. Oh no! I mean, this ledge was made of metal, and that one was metal. made of metal. You know? like if there's not ever... something mind blowing in this chest then <laughs> oh it's 100% a poncho right I don't know like, if, it, if it's like a lightsaber if it's before, lightsaber and materials lightsaber and not a not a poncho I am we gonna... were amazingly disappointed <laughs> yeah I really feel like that 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 guy there just really got more than he was bargaining for. He's like, oh, I'll take a slash of this guy. Oh, no! And then kicks off the platform. So, Cause what you do, you've got to, you've got to stop it. So, it, it's, it's blue, right? So, if you try to use the force now, what happens? Because it was blue a second ago. Yeah, okay, so it slows. Oh! Yes! Okay. Republic. Okay. It was neither of those things. Brian Eno. Yeah, but like Brian more Eno's talking to us. We've got to see what the Republic True. paints there. Oh, that's just That's dull. just a bit Come on, yeah, guys. Yeah, that that's uh. It's 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 no piss ship. <laughs> <laughs> Was that it? Uh, yep. Was that all Brian and I had to say? Like a oh, curious, I've got a artifact. curious artifact. I will uh, tie it up and hang it from the ceiling for some reason. But it must be surrounded by no less than uh, eight fans, <laughs> <laughs> really big ones that stop you going in or out of the building. Oh yeah, so it's through that. Yeah, the the workshops through that. Sprabbits. You know, I can see why you know decided to live here out of all the different places. It is a bog planet. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's got it's got plentiful water. It's got sprabbits as friends and um, sprabbits as far nice as cozy the eye cave can see. systems. You can right. lightsaber up some bugs for dinner. Does anyone remember how we dive? Okay. You do. You remember. Oh, yeah, there's a there's a lot of water here. Poncho, poncho. See what you found. Oh, it's lightsaber parts. 
Okay, okay. But, you know, valor and wisdom getting a bit greedy. Yeah, I, I always think, like... And uh, you know what? Actually, from a design perspective as well, like, memorizing what you've got and what you haven't got doesn't work that way. If it was just called valor and there was another thing called wisdom, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's the valor one. That's the wisdom one. But now it's like valor and wisdom, peace and justice, um, steak and eggs. Yeah. I could go for a steak and eggs themed lightsaber. Though. Fish and chips. Do you know who we look like? Hmm. Wait till we're properly on screen again. But uh, I just realized it as you were swimming upwards there. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> like, really, you look like Ronald McDonald. Okay. I am. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Do not tell me I'm wrong, chat. <laughs> That's Ronald McDonald. You can deny it, run from it. Sooner or later, uh, destiny arrives all the same. <laughs> uh, yes, we, we, we can deny it. <laughs> there's, there's a reason we can deny it. <laughs> oh, look, it's our best friend. This was our very first death. Let's fuck him up. <laughs> uh... No, because we said that the last time we came to Bagano, <laughs> the us. bog planet, and it definitely <laughs> killed us. I like that Sam has a self-imposed rule that you can't just say Bagano has got to be Bagano, the bog planet. <laughs> I bet Brian Eno was eating these guys. You know, I bet that was how he uh, how he survived. Or maybe those little fish guys, but they're kind yeah. of slippery. You know they uh, they yeah, quite... but he was he was a Jedi master. Yeah, he master. was an actual Jedi, not not some shitty little Jedi. Are we going to be able to get up there? Are we finally going to? This is what Frank was mocking us for not being able to do. Yeah, bite me, oh, Frank. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. It was Cordova. Frank's very much not here, but, um, <laughs> but you know, still suck it. Still, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, was that it? Was what that? What did we even get? Really, it. We got a force echo. We got. A, we stole someone's memories. Oh, but do you know what? Hang, hang on, go back, go back. One sec. One sec. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now that now that he has to do all this again, it's one hundred percent not worth it for the joke. <laughs> uh, no, because there's there's some vines up there to. Swing oh, okay, on. okay. No, maybe it's worth it, not for the joke, but for the. Uh, what I was gonna say, whilst we get back to his little camp, is at least Brian Eno, when he was camping out here, had the decency to make an actual Dark Souls bonfire. Yeah. Not a little blue circle on the ground, you know? Yes. Uh, oh! Right. This is so not going to be worth it. Oh, Yeah, it wait, is. Yeah, wait. yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's no, cool there, stuff up there. There's stuff. There's stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know how Twitch works. If someone wants to clip that, I will send it to Frank. Like, <laughs> and they will not know what we are talking about because <laughs> it was weeks ago. <laughs> wow. That was... you got to go to the left. Oh. you got, you got to run around the wall on the left. You can tell because it's got sonic stripes on it. Who's that guy? Ah, you know that really big thing in the distance oh, on Pagano, yeah. the bog planet? <laughs> that's him! Look how yes. busy he is! Oh, Carter, thanks oh, for that. I, I, I will tweet that. I will tweet that to Frank later on. <laughs> Let's head out. But yeah, that thing we were like, yeah, that's just set dressing. That's 100% that. It's still set dressing, but... I oh, know the world feels alive now. No! Uh, 
I'm spending embarrassingly longer on this than on the ninth system. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it doesn't count against your death counter. <laughs> By the way, you, you've, you've got to do this without dying now to get under 50. <laughs> this is your last life. I don't know. Fifty is optimistic, but I think, I think for sure we're gonna get it. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, I don't know what that was. That was something. I think Sam's gonna get it for sure in a hun in under a hundred, and probably a lot less than that. Love how this game is all about like precision platforming sometimes and then just forgets the precision. You know, if I could do something like that, I would be so obnoxious about it. I'd do it everywhere. Yeah, it's the double jump. Yeah, see, on the left, you got to run around that. Oh, we're so close, you can hear his yeah. breath. <laughs> oh, God, what we? No, we don't have to fight him, right? He's just looking. Like, I know we're calling him. No! <laughs> We're almost there. I know we're calling everything a friend, but that, that no, guy's that, definitely that, a friend. That's like, a friend. Like, like, if ever there were a friend, that's a friend. Look how friendly he is. Yeah. He's, he's just a friend. We're so not calling everything a friend. What well, you're just calling everything a friend. I deem friends. Yeah, but they're normally things that 100% want to flay you alive. And... <laughs> But I think this is a friend by everyone's metrics. Yana, you green. Well done, everyone. We turned Yan green. Um, I'm confused. I'm not sure how much I can make it. So, I so you I can't double to jump to, so you can't run, jump, and run on the same wall. So you've got to, yeah, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> right, have I forgotten a superpower? I don't think so. I think you're using all your superpowers right now. I think I'm doing quite well at I think you've just got to, you've got to be like, kind of, I don't think, how much height do you lose on a run as you run along? Like, run down that all the way and see, like, how much height you lose as you go along. That takes too much effort to get back up. <laughs> yeah, like, there's there's a maximum l yeah, distance you, you can run on drop. it. Okay, right. So you want to you wanna join that wall quite late, I want to say? Yeah. Like, later than you have been, because you so nearly had it. So see if you can swing yourself to like the second half of it, because you've got a double jump coming off it, haven't you? Yeah. So. Yes. Yes. Oh no, that's this is a genuinely good reward. It's not just it's not even like a bullshit poncho. That's um. Cordova was here. He fell alone. Missed me with Padawan. So worth it. <laughs> hey, anyone want to guess who Cordova's Padawan is? Is this a thing that's already Greece? been revealed? Is it Greece? It's yeah, sure, it's, it's Greece. Greece. It's Greece. Uh, Hundred percent, it's Greece. Wait, no, it was Seer. I mean, yeah, obviously that, it was Seer. Like <laughs> uh, that was revealed quite a while ago. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, we've been talking over every cutscene in this game, dude. Like, <laughs> we've been, we've been paying yeah, this game's fair. story and its voice actors precisely zero respect. <laughs> and I mean, this game, this game is beautiful voice acting as well. 
Um, okay, have we seen all of Pagano, the bog planet? I think we might have seen almost all of Pagano, the bog planet. Uh, inside the vault, obviously, we haven't seen because we need to unlock it, but um, other than that, you know, I'm I'm cautious in saying so, but I think we have seen almost all of Bogano, the bog planet. Um. Okay. Right, how do I get back? Sure, I That's could. the million dollar question. Oh, there oh, he is. So cute. Oh, he's That's like a big a one of those tiny ones. He's their dad. <laughs> oh, I love him. Um, Wish you could go and give him a hug. Also, he's 100% a monster in Monster Hunter as well. Uh, how did you get here? Oh, you got. Oh, yeah, oh, you got to go okay. through. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, forgot yeah. there was some yeah. runny walls. <laughs> it's because that bit looks exactly like this bit. <laughs> yeah, see, he's there, Dad. Yeah, no. I knew what you meant. <laughs> oh! I was lucky. No, no, no. A big version of some tiny ones does not make it, like, average size. You know what I mean. <laughs> a big version you know of I mean. some tiny like, ones. Like, anyway, like, some things, that's just not true. Like, you know, a, a butterfly isn't a big version of a caterpillar. Hey, kid. Nice one on the seed collector. But the terrarium still got plenty of room. Oh, Greece, nothing's you know, ever good enough for you, is it? Grease, whatever you say. Yeah, Dad. Well, it's not bad. Yeah, I think it's good. I think really he should have just spaced them out more and given them room to grow. Yeah. I think that's on Greece, actually. You know? Where's like, far be it for me to criticize um, Greece, who is godly, but sometimes you just gotta go, like, I, uh, I gotta replant these. Okay, let's go to Okay, Dathomir. 10 minutes of Dathomir, people. Um, <laughs> See it being the Star Wars fandom, then. It's a light saber. <laughs> I can't argue with that, but I mean, this light saber thing, that's something else. It's not. Wait, did that's, you that's not a real say oh, no, those old Jedi with those saber. those those light swords they have lightsabers, you say? Oh boy, there's something else, ain't they? <laughs> you know, my sister's <laughs> my 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 wife's sister's cousin is a Jedi Padawan, and they just gave her her light sword, and boy, is she proud of that? <laughs> is very Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> Is Grease actually just Columbo um, wearing, like, wearing some fake arms that are attached by string to his real arms? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. Grease isn't a cop. Sprat it. Unless selling us out to Murdy was an elaborate sting operation. We might have to, um, might have to have words with him about that. Nah. I... I'm 100% on Grease. Yeah, I, tr I trust there. Grease. I trust Grease. <laughs> you can't not trust Grease, even when he definitely sells you out. Exactly. He's he's just too good. Boy, I hope he's in the second one. Shift. Doors. Walls. I got Jedi up high. Yeah. Oh, Grease, it's okay. Hey, Cal. You and her. Is everything all right? not what's important right now you know sure believes in you and to tell you the truth i didn't really think that much of you at first. oh you were so good at hiding <laughs> <your degrees. laughs> <laughs> you you astound <laughs> us <laughs> yeah that's true well 
I hope you two can sort this thing out soon so we can finish this quest and go relax somewhere. I know a great castle on Takodana that makes the best bloody rancors in the galaxy. I don't want to drink a bloody rancor. That sounds now, buddy, awful. Have you been outside? Do you know where we are? <laughs> this is not a place to relax and eat. Let's get going. I'm starving. I love Grease. What do you think, Pierre? What? Is this a trick question? <laughs> you want me to go outside and find her for you? No, it's okay. I'll find her. Hang on. You've come a long way since Braca. But the path is far from over. I want you to know the difficult challenges ahead. So, do, do we still want to live here? Can do. I'm not denying that. And I know what has to be done. I do think it's got charm. It's, it's got charm. It's an up-and-coming area. Um, I know. Didn't say that. Lots Not of that. growth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just be safe. I think it might be evil trees, though. You know. Um, I think that's just They're propaganda just... from a rival. Um. Uh, maybe from yeah. a rival. A rival um, realtor, yeah. Uh, yeah. Real estate agent. So. Are we gonna are we gonna go see your friend though? Because you uh, you definitely ran away from him that time, and I think he was grievously offended. Um. Well, the reason I ran away from him was because our friendship was still burgeoning. Um. We can we can go and see if maybe he he has decided that. Friendship now would would be a good choice for him. Well, he's right there. Go go introduce yourself. Um, I'm going. That's Donkey to say Kong. That that's Donkey Kong. He has <laughs> maybe decided that the friendship between us is not quite for him. Um, <laughs> Which is fair, you know. Like, and that's okay. Um, knows a good answer too. Uh, that that's fine. We we. Don't need everyone to like us, um, so we're just gonna l leave him there. That's fair. Um, oh yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go into the caves and fight the horny guys. I'm not sure we do need to fight them, but um, I mean. You 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 gotta get your XP for your super lightsaber throw somewhere. Uh, you're not wrong. Barely did any running. There's something about even watching Sam come back to this area because we were briefly here. Um, if you join us since we I did get them there. before, but it yeah. did take me quite a like, lot. So that was that was pretty handy right there. Um, like before, it was kind of skinning your teeth, got through it, and then this bit. Oof. Um, chat, you're calling the Donkey Kong alien Spunky Spong. <laughs> spunky Spong. <laughs> Is there nothing that you won't add the initials <laughs> SP to the front of? I mean, how else are we going to determine that... No! Oh no! Do you know what's happened? No. We just hit fifty. That's fine. We're 
we're, we're doing the game on 50 deaths. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't we're, die. We're not dying again. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> no pressure. I think the interesting thing about these guys is uh, the stormtroopers don't do it so much, but these guys will parry you. Any miss this? Right here, BD. You cannot there. I mean, that's just. Blech. Star, Star Wars enemies. You cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least the game knows to cut off their dialogue if you kill them. <laughs> I I don't know. It would be so oh. funny. If Classic from they... software move that. <laughs> if they kept talking after they're dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You cannot def eat me. <laughs> well, it's interesting because a lot of them don't actually have death. I don't think these guys have death screams at all. They just sort of drop down dead. I think his was a... Uh, here! Well, I, I remember there was a, uh, a Star Wars game called Shadows of the Empire, um, which was on the... I think it probably came to PC, but I had it on the N64 as a kid. And the Stormtroopers in that game had the most overdone death screams you've ever heard in a video game. Like, they might as well have been screaming like, I die! Like, I think every other scream was a Wilhelm scream. And the other ones were not less dramatic than a Wilhelm scream. Oh, I replayed um, Red Dead Redemption at one point, and half of the death screams are Wilhelm screams, and it just gets <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, but it, it is, is it is genre savvy. It is, you know. <laughs> just, oh my god! If I never have to hear the Wilhelm scream again, I will. I will live in peace. I'm sorry. I've just uh, I've just looked at chat for the first time in a couple of hot <laughs> minutes, and we are calling these horny violence guys spoy friends. Uh, yeah, I can <laughs> see that space boy friends. Yep. I like that. Stop him from moving. If only he didn't move. Help BD. There are, there are so many of these guys. <laughs> oh. Another stiff. Chat, help me out. Did Sam die just there and I didn't record it? I'm very tired. Uh, probably. I think Sam might be on 51. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we we agreed that I was oh, going to manage yeah, no, to that, that guy, that guy did the so. double-handed stave your head in. Yeah, you, you died. You died. I'm just too sleepy. It's been a long day. <laughs> Oh, there's a chest. Did, did someone shoot you from around the corner? Now, BD. Oh. It's okay, you got this. I don't think that running away from them has uh, worked out for us, though. We can win, no. They're just a hell of a lot more committed than the Stormtroopers, you know?
Okay, folks. Um, with that death, I think it might be time to wrap it up. Uh, oh. We've been going a couple of hours. Um, yeah, we're going to be fighting more spiky guys on Dathomir next time. Um, my... <laughs> yes. We... <laughs> We will be back to the spoy friend action. <laughs> we, <laughs> boy friends. We will be back to our, our lovely space boyfriends <laughs> with their lovely spike faces. That's one hundred percent the title of the next video. The, <laughs> the next time that now. we join you, I imagine that will be same time next week. So uh, seven p.m. B.S. BST. British we, are we still time. in summertime? I I don't yeah, know we're, we're what a week time away of from the year it is. Um, on on Monday, um, it has been lovely spending some time with you. Um, if you want to follow our, our streams, you can uh, follow us over on uh, Twitter at Kofi Assam. Um, and you can also subscribe to us on YouTube, so that way if you ever miss any of these streams, they get uploaded a couple of days later, and if you subscribe, if you hit the little bell, that's the thing they tell you to do, hit the little bell, right? <laughs> if you hit the little bell after you subscribe, then you get a text or an email actually Like, share, and subscribe, there. gamers. It's incredible. Yeah, like it as well. Um, I like liking things. Uh, yeah, we uh, stick up on Twitter when um, we upload a VOD, so... Um, you 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 could be informed that way if uh, YouTube notifications annoy you. Um, That's right. And if you want to follow us individually, I am neither a Baron on Twitter, and this guy is Corfidius. Corfidius with a C. Yes. Um, all right, folks. Uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, I am sure we will see you next time. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.